Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to very quickly show you um, how to draw a, um, a, a circle of any radius. Uh, just you know, just draw it straight straight on the map. I'm actually it's going to be using sort of graphics, but I also show uh, the best way, which is um, with the insert tab. Um, so I'm going to do it sort of two ways. One way is a bit more tricky to get the 50 miles, but um, you can. This is one way. You can just add a graphics layer, and then effectively you're just going to draw on it. So when you go to the graphics tab, so when you've got a graphics layer, you have to go to the graphics tab to do anything. And then you've got all these sort of drawing um, capabilities uh, here. So I could click on circle, uh, click where I want, and then just sort of drag out. Um, but but ra rather than doing that, so if I let go, I, I, I've got my um, uh, circle. But, but actually, r rather than doing that, I want to type it in. So, um, the way to the way to do that, let me just press delete, is to go to insert, and then what you can do is um, do a sort of measurement, graphics creation from distance and direction. So this is a very useful tool. Actually, you can draw all kinds of things on here with very specific um, uh, distances and uh, sort of directions. So whatever you want to draw, you select here. So you want to draw a line, start point, and and uh, whatever. But it may go off on a bearing. Um, you can draw a circle, ellipse, or, or a set of rings, you see. So you can just put, put them in there and, and draw them. Um, so certainly have a play with that, but just to get you started, let's do a circle. Uh, see, I've got the plus sign here. I've got the map point tool. So I'm going to select, let's say, Sheffield as my center. And then um, that's our miles. I'll just type 50, create circle. And um, and then it uh, creates the um, uh, circle there, and by default puts uh, 50 miles um, as as a label. So certainly, um, it's a good way of adding uh, that sort of um, annotation. Let's call it um, sort of annotation, um, and uh, it's storing in the local project file. So if you go to um, your database. You can see, and I click on um, the database sources, you can see that um, it's gone to this clipdemo.gdb, um, which is the current um, default um, geodatabase that I'm using as a, as a sort of local file. Anyway, I hope that um, answers a few questions. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more on this anyway um, in a later video, but this was just a quick one to get you going. Thanks.